Hey guys, this is my video review for the Vincor Flames Candles. Uh, so, these are how it looks when you get them out of the box. This is the box that it comes in. Very nice, big, thick box, a lot of styrofoam in here that keeps it covered and isolated from each other so they don't get knocked around. It's actually a lot of protection here. It comes in a wrapping and then it actually comes in a, another layer of seal all around that you'll remove for each of these candles. So that's how it looks. It's a bit of a mess, so you, know, you want to be in a place where you, you don't have to, uh, that it's easy to clean. Here's the remote that you get. Uh, I'm going to show it closer. There's an on off button, uh, timer settings to set it off per two hour intervals, up to eight hours. Uh, there's a low, low brightness, high brightness setting. And then there is a uh, flicker and non flicker mode that you can go into as well. So these, each of these candles requires three AAA batteries, which you'll put on the bottom here. So you'll need a total of nine to activate all this. There's, there's a compartment on the bottom, and there's a switch. You can turn on, on and off. You need to turn this on in order for you to power on the remote with this uh, enable. Uh, so that's something you have to do. And the batteries aren't included. You have to get your own. Batteries aren't too expensive. You can get them on Amazon pretty cheap. Um, so this is how it looks. They, here's the dancing candle here. Uh, I don't know how, how close I am. But this is how you have with the arch and when you turn on the light, it kind of creates this uh, zone that kind of has a flickering light and the dancing, this candle here starts to move around when you power it on. Otherwise right now it's, it's just sitting still. So for example, when I turn this on, you'll see it dancing around. So let me turn off the light. It's kind of, uh, I'm not at night, it's not night time right now, so I'll just have to do it how it, how, how it looks right now. That's how it looks, as you can see it's dancing around. Um, every time you hit a timer mode, it's gonna blink. When you wanna go into the candle mode, you see this one here, it's gonna go in and out. It's a little hard to see in this camera probably, but it's kind of going, you can see it right here, it's going lower and higher and lower and higher, it's alternating like that. To kind of create like a, like a real candle effect. Especially if there's like subtle wind. So that's how it looks. With this remote, I can actually control these individually if the spacing and direction is right. So let's try this one off. Let's try it. And move this down. Styrofoam. There we go. Now these two are on. And then I can turn this to camera mode. Because they're both close in range, so they're both activated with one button press. It's on. It's light. The only thing with these flames candles is that other ones that I've had. When you change between candle mode and light mode, I think it blinks, so you, you kind of know that it's working. This one, you kind of have to pay attention to up close to see if it's going in and out. But that's how it looks. This is different heights. You get three pillars in your package. You can set them up in your shelf or your dinner countertop setting. Um, they just actually, the reason why I got this is just because it's like a burgundy red. Um, and it just looks nice because I've had other ones that are just they're plain candle looking mold, candle wax looking mode, and this one's just a different, different color, so it has a different effect, different look to it when you put it uh, wherever you put it, so it has a better presentation than just having a typical looking candle wax. Uh, so that's my demo. Hopefully this was helpful. This is how it looks when they're on, and these all. Um, power on as described in the user menu. I don't have it in front of me, but this is, you know, it'll last you, if you turn on each day for a few hours, it should last you up to a month before you have to switch other batteries. Just kind of keep in mind you set the timer off. I usually, when I use these, I'll set the timer for just two hours just because I like to see it on my bedside before, just kind of look around a little bit before I go to sleep, and then while I'm asleep, it'll just power off on its own, save battery power, uh, and then it'll set it the next night. So that's pretty much all. Thanks for watching.